To construct a confidence interval for a single unknown population mean mu, where the population standard deviation is known, we need x bar, the sample mean, as an estimate for mu, and we need the margin of error. Here the margin of error is called the error bound for a population mean, abbreviated EBM. The sample mean x bar is the point estimate for the unknown population mean mu. The confidence interval will have the form the point estimate minus the margin of error to the point estimate plus the margin of error. Or using symbols, we have x bar minus EBM to x bar plus EBM. The margin of error depends on the confidence level, abbreviated CL. The confidence level is often considered the probability that the calculated confidence interval estimate will contain the true population parameter. However, it is more accurate to state that the confidence level is the percent of confidence that the intervals contain the true population parameter when repeated samples are taken. Most often, it is the choice of the person constructing the confidence interval to choose a confidence level of 90% or higher because that person wants to be reasonably certain of his or her conclusions. There is another probability called alpha. Alpha is related to the confidence level. Alpha is the probability that the interval does not contain the unknown population parameter. Mathematically, alpha plus the confidence level is equal to one, or alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level. So if we have a confidence level of 95%, then alpha is equal to one minus 0 0.95 or 0 0.05, which is equal to 5%. As an example, suppose that we have collected data from a sample. We know the sample mean, but we do not know the mean for the entire population. The sample mean is seven, and the error bound for the mean is 2.5, which means x bar is equal to seven, and EBM is equal to 2.5. And therefore, the confidence interval is seven minus 2.5 to seven plus 2.5, which gives a confidence interval from 4.5 to 9.5. If the confidence level is 95%, then we say that we estimate with 95% confidence that the true value of the population mean is between 4.5 and 9.5. I hope this lesson helps your understanding of a confidence interval. In the next lesson, we will also calculate the error bound based upon the confidence level as well as the confidence interval.